This video examines the teacher materials you've received with your adoption of Principles of Life 2nd Edition. Before we get started, I want to show the main components of your teacher resource materials. Your teacher's edition is filled with activities, teaching tips, and videos. Additional resources are available in your teacher's resource materials. You can download these from your teacher's resource flash drive or online. You will also receive an exam view test bank CD to create additional tests and quizzes. Before you start teaching the chapter, it's a good idea to check the roadmap pages in the beginning of each chapter. Beyond an overview of the chapter, the textbook also provides you with a list of the essential knowledge and illustrative examples within the chapter, a list of College Board resources, and resources that are available within the Teacher Resource Flash Drive. We provide you with a list of FRQs from the exam, both pre- and post-redesign. Each chapter includes a chapter outline, which is going to be extremely important as you teach AP Biology. One of the main concerns for AP Bio teachers is making sure you get through the large amount of content that students will be tested on in May. To help you, we have created a concept-by-concept -concept outline of the chapter and highlighted in green the content that is absolutely necessary for the exam. Information that is important, but not essential, is highlighted in yellow, and concepts that are out of scope are in red. We have also grayed out those sections in the teacher's edition narrative. Beyond that, this page also shows where the essential math content is for the exam. Finally, we also provide you with the pacing guide for both traditional and block schedules. We provide you with a list of activities that you can do in each day. Chapter 15 should take you seven traditional class periods, or three block schedule periods. Now let's take a look within the Annotated Teacher's Edition. We provide you with a number of annotations around the student edition of the text. We'll examine some of the most useful ones. First, each concept has a learning objectives annotation that shows you which learning objectives from the AP framework are covered within that concept. Outside the scope boxes provide you with an explanation of why you do not need to cover that content that is grayed out in the narrative. We have highlighted the narrative gray where it contains content that is outside the scope of the AP framework. We provide you with blue doing science boxes or simulated labs that allow your students to see the effects of the lab without actually taking the time in class to do so. The simulated labs are online and our teacher's edition ebook links out to the website directly. This natural selection simulation links out to a downloadable video to use in your class. Beyond simulated labs, we provide you with miniature labs that can be completed when you are short on time. This specific lab will take about 15 minutes and the only supplies you'll need are four to six decks of cards and a penny per student or group. We provide you with questions for your students to use for discussion or homework. The science literacy boxes provide you with articles and other pieces to use in your classroom. We also provide you with guiding questions, so this is a great homework assignment or substitute teacher assignment. The specific science literacy box links out to an article in Scientific American, which is published by our sister company. We also provide you with AP exam tips that are general pieces of advice for your students. Share these tips with your students in order to be sure that they are ready for the exam in May and use them during exam prep. With so much content to get through, we know the importance of flipping your AP Biology classroom, so we also provide you with links that help you do that. This chi-squared video tutorial is great for students to watch at home or assign it when you are out of class. Beyond the features I just showed you, we also have some others I want to quickly highlight. Illustrative examples provide you with a callout when there is an image that can be matched to a piece of the AP curriculum. Teaching use figures give you teaching advice on using the figures from your textbook in your classroom. We also call out when there are additional materials in your teacher resource flash drive, which we'll now look more at in detail. There are a ton of great resources on your teacher's resource flash drive. All of these are also available through Launchpad. When you put your flash drive in your computer and open the file, you will see a list of folders. Each folder contains different resources. We'll take a look at a few, but I encourage you to look in each folder as you teach AP Bio. 
First, we have active learning exercises. There is a PowerPoint for each chapter that gives active learning exercises for each concept. The answers and advice for class are in the notes on the PowerPoint. There are 104 animated tutorials to use with Principles of Life. They are all MP4 files that you can play in your classroom and have been specifically created for use with this textbook. While we provide you with the links in the annotated Teacher's Edition, we also wanted to provide you with a digital chapter-by-chapter -chapter document. This document contains all the links from within the annotated Teacher's Edition and is in a Word document, so it's fully editable. We also provide you with 202 videos to use with Principles of Life. Thank you for completing the course guide for Principles of Life.